Praise the Lord. Praise Jesus. Praise the King of Kings. And the Lord of Lords. My dear friends, Jesus Christ is Lord. Amen. God sent me out to preach to you about Jesus Christ. Hoping that some of you will give your life to Jesus Christ today. Today's message is eternity. Eternity is surely coming to every one of us. Whether we believe it or not, whether we like it or not, or whether we want it or not, eternity is surely coming to each of us. In Hebrews chapter 9, verse 27 says, As appointed for a man, for men to die once, but after this comes judgment. God have appointed a day for a man to die. And after death, the Bible says, comes judgment. So eternity is coming to each one of us. In 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 10 says, For we must all appear before the judgment seat of Christ that each one may give the things done in the body according to what he has done whether good or bad we are going to stand in the presence of mighty Jesus Christ one day and we are going to give account to him the things we have said the things we thought and the things we do and so eternity is coming i am also tell you eternity goes on forever just quite describe eternal life in the test of relationship with itself it is important for us to consider because one thing to know is that many people today feel confused and it shouldn't be so because what the Bible says, that I know. That I know that I have eternal life in Christ Jesus. In 1 John chapter 5, verse 13 says, John, write these things to me and you. These things are written to you that you may know that you have eternal life to all who believe. In the Son of God, that Jesus Christ, when you believe in Jesus Christ, God gives you eternal life. You don't deserve it. You cannot end it. But yet, God gives it to us because God is kind to us. It is a free gift. How do I get it? When I ask God to forgive my sins and He wash me in the blood of Jesus, and make me fit for the kingdom of God. I asked Jesus Christ to come into my life, into my heart, more than three years ago. And you changed my life. You can do the same thing today, my dear friend. Do you have eternal life? You see? All you simply have to do is to invite Jesus Christ into your heart and make it to be the Lord and save your fair life. Savior means it saves you from sin. When you just cry down the cross of Calvary, he say it is finished. It means our sins have been bought and paid for with his special blood on the cross of Calvary. Just cry say John 5 verse 24. I tell you the truth that those who listen to my message and believe in God who sent me have eternal life and they will never come they will not be condemned for their sins but they have already passed from death to life that's right when you hear the message of the cross the gospel that Jesus Christ died God bless you sir it's good to see you are well God is so great. Amen. Amen. Yes. Hallelujah, sir. Amen. 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 God bless you, sir. 
in John 5 verse 24 Jesus Christ said I tell you the truth that those who listen to my message and believe in God who send me have eternal life and they will never be condemned for their sins but they have already passed from death into life do you hear that? We hear the gospel and believe the gospel. God says that He gives you eternal life and you will not be condemned for your sins. That's why today it's very important that you give your heart to Jesus Christ because when you believe in Him, He will not condemn you anymore for your sins. Because why? Your sins are be paid for on the cross of Calvary. That's the main purpose God sent me to preach to you. We don't feel right now you are busy with your work or coming back from work. But eternity is coming. One of these days, one of these days, you are going to meet the Lord. My question to you is this Why are you still alive? Is the blood of Jesus Christ covering your sin or not? That's a question you need to ask yourself, my dear friend. Can I help you, sir? Yes, sir. I need to come out from that road, come out from the Supreme Center, come out from the last one. Amen. We are talking about eternity. Don't get the idea that you're going to live forever. Because if Christ tells us not, people die every second, someone dies. It's important that you pay attention. The most important thing is where you spend your eternity. Either with God or with the devil, you have to choose right now. You are alive. It's important hearing the word of God because the Bible says, Fake my hearing, I hearing the word of Jesus Christ. Paul said, As of Apostle 28, verse 28. So I want you to know that this salvation from God has already been offered to Gentiles and they will accept it. You must accept the gospel news, you must receive it to be saved. In Romans chapter 10, verse 14. For how can they call on him to save them unless they believe in him? And how can they believe in him if they have never heard about him? And how can they hear about him unless someone tells them? That's why God sent me here today to tell you that eternity is coming. Eternity is coming. Give your heart to Jesus Christ. Get out with God before you die. In Hebrew 2, verse 3. The Bible says that so that makes us that we think we can escape if we ignore this great salvation that was first announced by the Lord Jesus Christ himself and then delivered to us by those who had his faith. You must have faith in God. You must have faith in the blood. You must have faith in Jesus Christ. God sent Jesus Christ into the world to save us from our sins and we we'll put our faith in the finished work of Calvary God gives us eternal life in John 6 verse 39 the Bible says this is the will of him who sent me that I shall not lose any of them that's given to me but I shall give them a new life and raise them all up on the last day God gives you a new life when you die, God will raise you up from death. If you believe in Jesus Christ, if you make him to be the Lord and Savior of your life. In Galatians chapter 4, verse 6. And because we are all his children, and God sent the spirit of his son into our heart, permit us to call out our Father. Friend, there's no judgment, there's no condemnation for those who believe. In 1 John chapter 3, verse 14 says, If we love our Christian brothers and sisters, it proves that we are passed from death to life. God bless you. How are you, sister? It is well. Amen. The Bible says in Romans chapter 8, verse 1, So now, therefore, there is no condemnation for those who belong to Jesus Christ. When you belong to Jesus Christ, you are moved from death to life. When you die, God will not judge you. Christians who are born again are not judged. 
we receive reward for believing in Jesus Christ and for the work we do while we are on this earth. So friends, salvation is in the person of Jesus Christ. We are not saved by our good works. We are saved by the grace of God. When we put our faith in Jesus Christ and make him to be the Lord and Savior of our life. Ephesians chapter 2 verse 5 said that even though we are dead because of our sins, he gave us life. We risen Christ from death. It is only by his grace that you have been saved. It is by his grace that you have transformed you from death to life. In Titus 3 verse 5, the Bible says that he saved us. Not because of righteous things that you have done, but because of his mercy. He washed our sins away and given us a new bed and a new life through the Holy Spirit. In Romans 11 verse 5 to 6, in the same day, when a few people of Israel have remained faithful because of God's grace, His undeserved kindness in choosing them. When God saves you, He shoots you because He loves you. When God saves you, He shoots you because He loves you. We must understand this because this is the kindness of God. And the Bible says it is through the kindness of God that is not by their good works, but their case, God's grace will not be. <coughs> Excuse me. What is really free and undeserved? God give us a free salvation. I don't deserve it. You don't deserve it. But we must put our faith in the finished work of Calvary. Otherwise, we will not get our salvation. Because on the cross, blood was shed. And we touch on the blood. The Bible says, there is no forgiveness of sins. In Acts 15, verse 11, the Bible says that we believe that we are all saved in the same way by undeserved grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. You see, we are saved. Those of us who are saved, we are saved because of our believing and trusting our Lord Jesus Christ and we make it to be the Lord and save of your life. That's what the Bible says. Who shall believe in him may have eternal life. Eternal life is a gift God gives to us for those who believe. My message for you today is eternity. Eternity is coming. Are you ready? Are you ready? When Jesus Christ comes, because his coming is imminent. For you to be ready, you must receive Jesus Christ as your Lord and personal Savior. All you have to do is to say, Lord Jesus Christ, come into my heart, be my Lord and be my Savior. I believe that you died for my sins and thank you for dying for my sins. I believe that God raised you up from death. And my dear friend, when you make a prayer like this, the Bible says, all who call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. The name blessed in the mighty name of Jesus, my dear friends, Jesus Christ is Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Jesus Christ is Lord.